With fall allergy season starting, cases of COVID-19 still high and both having overlapping symptoms, it can be difficult to tell whether or not your sore throat or runny nose is a cause for concern. KLBK's Grace Moore spoke to a couple of doctors today on how to differentiate the symptoms of allergies from COVID and the flu. Grace, what are some of those ways? Terry, from allergies to COVID-19 to the flu, they all affect your respiratory system, which is why many of their symptoms are so similar. But while allergy symptoms tend to set in quickly, other illnesses take a bit longer for symptoms to show. But the doctors I spoke to said that there are a few key differences in those symptoms that you can watch out for. With colds, the flu, allergies, and COVID-19 all presenting with some overlapping symptoms, it can be hard to differentiate one from the other when you're sick. Seasonal allergies, it primarily affects the upper respiratory tract. The upper respiratory tract includes the larynx and nasal cavity, but COVID-19 tends to affect more of your lower respiratory tract, and allergy symptoms tend to set in quickly. COVID-19 has a very long incubation period. Uh, in terms of uh, seasonal allergies, uh, the symptoms develop quite promptly. You know, you don't have to wait that long. And they can cause itchiness in the eyes and nose, not normally indicative of the flu or COVID-19. Itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, congestion. Uh, you can have some people, they can have, if they have asthma, that can affect their symptoms. They can be more short of breath. But there is one telltale symptom of COVID-19 that doesn't overlap with other illnesses. Is new loss of test. That is one symptom, I would say, which is more specific to uh, COVID-19. Dr. Tarbach says that if you're having symptoms but not sure what's causing them, it's important to call your primary care physician before going to the doctors. You've had a possible exposure or you're concerned you have COVID, you should definitely get that checked first. You, you should try to avoid going uh, into a healthcare situation if you think there's any chance you could spread COVID. Both Dr. Tarbox and Dr. Schwesta agree that wearing a mask can not only prevent COVID-19, but allergies too. The mask can, can really help with blocking pollen particles from getting in your nose or mouth. Dr. Tarbox also says that right now, more smoke in the air from West Coast fires could also be exacerbating any allergy symptoms you might be having. Terry?